Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to build a kit from Armor Brick. This is their version of the amphibious vehicle. It was designed by Gutnikov Ilya. Contains 870 parts, has a difficulty rating of 3 out of 5, and its serial number is 348. Here's the top edge of the box. And here's what the back of the box looks like. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Okay, looks like there's eight bags of parts in this kit. Here's the instruction book. There's the finished design on the back. Let's see here. Here's an idea of what the instructions look like. Let's get started with the build.
So here's the completed Armor Brick Amphibious Vehicle, AAV. Pretty cool build. Got the little ninja up there in the main turret. The front two hatches are open. The swim vane is up in the front. And I have the back gate or hatch open. So you can kind of see inside of it. Well, I guess I should open these up too. So you can kind of look in it. So all the parts that can be moved are open. Get quite a few mini pigs up inside of there. Should mention that the tracks are made by Blue Bricks, I believe it is. Very cool build. These little one by one slopes here on the side, the green ones. Nothing against armor brick, by the way. Reminded me of the little green houses in uh, Monopoly. I don't know why. Might be the color, something about the shape. I'll go ahead and uh, pause the video and close up all the hatches so you can see what it looks like with all the hatches closed. Okay, all the hatches are closed except for the one where I have the green ninja in it. Not sure what this little piece is here. Maybe it's some kind of a piece of radar or antenna. Overall, the camouflage version that they've made here is rather appealing. I like the way it looks. They do have a tan version for sale right now on pre-order. I think it's due out in April. I wouldn't say I had any difficulty building this kit as far as the techniques or style. The only problem I had was attaching the top of the vehicle to the tracks. And it was a matter of holding it in the right place to put pressure on to join the studs together. And when I did, I popped a couple of the road, road wheels off. But all in all, really solid build. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day.